Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Camille Grammer lives the luxury lifestyle you'd expect and know if you watch the series. She and her ex-husband Kelsey Grammer once owned a stunning 5-acre equestrian compound in Malibu Hills, which was awarded to her in the divorce. After this property, Camille went on to own a couple other beachfront Malibu estates, and most recently, calls a mansion in Brentwood, California home. This place boasts features like a massive 56-foot swimming pool out back, and today we're going to check out a few of her beautiful homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Camille Grammer Mayer is a TV personality, model, producer, actress, and more, who is well known for starring on the Bravo reality series The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She's an original cast member of the show, being on it since season one, and while she's no longer a main character, she still often makes regular appearances. Camille began her career as a dancer, model, and actress, and worked as a producer producer and writer for Gramnet Productions. She was famously married to actor Kelsey Grammer from 1997 to 2011. In fact, the January 13th, 2011 episode of Real Housewives, in which Camille admitted to her then husband wanting to leave the marriage, it was the highest rated episode of the season. Camille is still working hard in Hollywood though and making bank with an estimated net worth of about $50 million. It's no wonder she's been able to own beautiful California mansions with features like horse stables, private tennis courts, and panoramic ocean views. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out the homes of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Camille Grammer. If you like this one, you can check out other vids we did on housewives like Kelly Dodd and Lisa Vanderpump, which we'll link to at the end. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram if you want, and now let's get into this video. Back in 1998, a year after Camille and ex-husband Kelsey tied the knot, the couple forked out $4.5 million for a five-acre equestrian compound in Malibu Hills. The French country-inspired estate, which was awarded to Camille in the divorce settlement, bonus, featured 6,645 square feet with seven bedrooms and 13 baths. It recently popped back on the market in 2019 for a whopping $20 million, and needless to say, that price tag will get you all of the deluxe features you could want and more in a home. The pad included a riding arena, six stall barn, carriage house, lily ponds, organic vegetable garden, fruit patches, and rose gardens, just to name a few. Camille's former palace featured a two-story ballroom fully furnished her liking and offered a stunning crystal chandelier as well as panoramic views of the mountains and ocean. One selling point were the glass doors here that made the room almost al fresco and led out onto the patio. There are chef's kitchens and then there's Camille's former kitchen, which was literally designed by a world-renowned chef. We're guessing her ex Kelsey pulled some strings to get famous chef Wolfgang Puck's help in designing the space. The room offered soaring wood beam ceilings, more than one island for meal prep, and even a pizza oven. The amazing master suite was larger than life and had a fireplace, sitting area, and French doors, all underneath elegant vaulted ceilings. Not to mention the doors led to her private balcony overlooking the grounds. Then the ensuite looked more like something out of a spa than a master bathroom with a relaxing tub, spacious vanity, sitting area and massive glass shower. Other features in the former Grammar Mansion included an indoor-outdoor breakfast nook, wood paneled office, wine cellar, gym and home movie theater. While indoor features go on forever, the grounds of Camille's former compound are almost more impressive. There are two spas, a swimming pool, bathhouse, and 17th century stone gazebo. Not to mention, there was a full tennis court which we often saw Camille playing on during the first season of Real Housewives. The property also featured beautiful gardens, orchards, and ponds that looked to be inspired by Monet paintings. Just like any good equestrian estate, the former couple even had six horse stables, a riding ring, and an old world equestrian facility. Considering Camille was no longer with Kelsey, she did sell this property and relocated to another Malibu abode. Back in 2018, Camille's then Malibu estate was sadly destroyed in the Woolsey fires. 
Tragically, the Woolsey fires destroyed about 1,600 structures and spread across more than 96,000 acres, which included her beloved property she spent 3.3 million on in 2016. This was clearly where Camille moved to following the sale of her marital compound. However, as of June 2021, Camille's 2016 home has been completely rebuilt and sold for nearly 6 million. The contemporary new home, rebuilt in the place of Camille's former spot, offers 5,500 square feet and boasts four bedrooms and 4.5 baths. Technically, the new digs are slightly smaller than the former 6,100 square foot Mediterranean villa built in 1992. Some of the notable changes in the rebuilt included an illuminated pool surrounded by square open grid paving and palm trees with a balcony hovering above. Then the new kitchen included a large island with two overhead light fixtures, glass paneled cabinets and open to a sitting room. But still, this place was not nearly as impressive as the Wolfgang Puck kitchen at the former mansion. Finally, the master her bedroom included glass sliding doors that opened to a balcony, a built-in fireplace and massive walk-in closets. Tragic fires aside, Camille had somewhat of an obsession with Malibu. Back in 2016, she picked up a second Malibu home on one of the city's most desirable stretches of sand for a whopping $6.55 million. As soon as Camille moved into the beachfront home, she completely gutted the three-story place, including updated bathrooms, floor-to-ceiling glass sliders opening to an enormous deck, and a peninsula snack bar, dividing the dining area and brand new gourmet kitchen. Camille did a number on the kitchen too, including all white shaker style cabinets, solid surface countertops, and medium grade stainless steel appliances. But like I said, that first kitchen was hard to beat, so I can see why she would have trouble being satisfied with any other cooking space after that. Despite the hefty price tag, the home was only equipped with 1,632 square feet and three beds and three baths. Within that, the home included a combination living and dining room, stretching the width of the house, and the top floor was devoted almost entirely to the master suite. This room included a surmounted fireplace, glass reading nook, and small terrace with coastline view. Camille's master bath here came with marble flooring, a soaking tub with a view, and skylight top shower. There was also an additional room that could easily be used as an office, nursery, or even a yoga room. The charming abode included two guest bedrooms, one of which opened to the courtyard, while the other, located on the lowest level, included access to a dining lounge deck with hot tub, outdoor shower, and access to the beach. Probably Camille's biggest flex at this pad was the deck that spanned the entire house, complete with barbecue area, al fresco dining spa, and fully furnished, overlooking the Pacific Ocean. What more could you need in a Malibu beach house? Not a bad life when the family could watch seals from their deck at the comfort of their own home. And if you want a luxurious beachfront property, you're in luck as Camille listed this home for rent for 25 k per month back in October 2019. After putting that Malibu house up for rent, you're probably wondering where on earth Camille moved to. And for once, it's actually not Malibu. Camille and her new husband, David Mayer, found their latest real estate venture in October of 2019, dropping $5.85 million on a New England traditional style estate that features 5,483 square feet and boasts six bedrooms and six baths. In addition, the double gated property includes a two bedroom guest house and detached three car garage. Located in the Brentwood area of Los Angeles, California, the beautiful residence comes with a number of formal living and dining room spaces decked out under vaulted beam ceilings, crown moldings, oversized windows, and Fleetwood sliders with patio access. Her dining room here is decked out in a cheerful yellow color, which is certainly unique and makes for some positive vibes. Meanwhile, the all new gourmet kitchen offers butcher block countertops, top of the line Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances, and a stainless wine refrigerator. The adjacent family and breakfast room opens to a brick patio with built-in barbecue via chic French doors, which is ideal for hosting. The showstopper of this property has to be what's called the pub room and grand party lounge complete with brick fireplace and wet bar trimmed in custom rich wood. I want one. The two bedroom guest quarters are ideal for live-in staff or overnight guests if Camille and her hubby feel like entertaining. However, the former owners used this space as an office and art studio, so the possibilities are endless. The over half acre spread also offers lush grounds with grassy lawn, palm trees, large terrace with fireplace, gardens, and private sitting areas. 
The most impressive feature Camille has back here is definitely the massive, extra long 56 foot swimming pool, perfect for morning laps if you're into that sort of thing. And a sitting area here also boasts another fire pit. All right, so I think I'll bring our Camille Grammar house tour to an end here. We took a look at the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and her amazing properties in Malibu she owned over the years, as well as her current property in Brentwood, Los Angeles. I for one am surprised that the place she lives at now isn't in Malibu too because with the other three homes, it's clear Camille was in love with the place. After seeing all those houses she snagged, what did you think? It's hard to pick a clear cut winner here, all of her spreads were pretty cool. The first spot with ex-husband Kelsey Grammer had a ton of features. I really liked how she fixed up her second home after that terrible wildfire. The third spot was smaller but prime real estate. Then we have her final home which featured that pub room and grand party lounge, which is an unreal setup. I'm real torn here. If I had to choose though, the first Malibu mega compound was the clear winner. Not because it was so huge, but I love the old world charm. Let me know your fave home of Camille's in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.